Have you ever felt annoyed by others or do you sometimes feel jealous of the achievement or beauty of people around you? For example, maybe your friends got good marks for the exam but it's the opposite to you or perhaps not as high as her. Most students experience this kind of thought, including myself too. If you ever felt that way, that means you also have your somber side in you but maybe you don't let it out for people to recognize it. So don't worry, that's normal. So if some of you have not experienced that view, perhaps it's on another aspect because everyone and every each of people, as long as you're a human being, all of you have this somber side within you. You can't deny it because it is the nature of human characteristics. We all have thoughts that are negative, unpleasant, sometimes feel anger, hatred, self-centered, bl blaming ourselves and other more negative thoughts. Throughout my research about somber or dark parts of people, I found that somber represent the messy, imperfect or less pleasurable aspects of ourselves. And then according to research conducted by the National Science Foundation claimed that around 80% of our thoughts are negative. That's a lot, right? And it was found that average person has around 12,000 to 50,000 of thought daily. This show that we need to defend ourselves from negative thoughts so it can't lead to a way that we don't want it to be. Therefore, today, I, Putri Fatino Ain, Binti Nur Pazilan, would like you to listen with an open mind to my speech in persuading you to defeat your somber side to prevent, to prevent you from hinder your personal growth, a poor mental and physical health, and damage your relationship by encouraging you all to love yourself first, practice a healthy lifestyle and perform a wise communication with people so that you can create a positive mindset, improve your overall well-being and strengthen your relationship with others. All right, first, why do you need to get a grip of your somber side? It is because it can give a lot of disadvantages for you from internal until your external as it can affect people around you. First, it can inhibit your personal growth. The continuous thinking of negative thoughts and ideas may lead to fear, self-talk and pessimism which can be a barrier for an individual from pursuing opportunities and realizing their full potential. For example, you might negative self-talk like, I'm not good at this. I should avoid it so that I will not hurt and no risk will be faced. Or, I will fail anyways. According to Elizabeth Scott stated that focusing on negative thought may lead to decreased motivation and discourage you from taking positive action which will limit your personal growth. Next, you need to know that most things that maintain your cycle in life are both your mental and physical. In that case, if your somber side manipulate you, firstly, you will need negative, you will have negative thought. Then it will follow with stress, anxiety, and depression, which can be worse when you start to think of suicide and self-harmless. In addition, it will, it will also affect your physical health because negative thought can contribute into a certain disease like high blood pressure, stroke, heart disease, or heart attack, and even weaken your immune functionality. In fact, Medical doctors found that people with high negativity in mind are more likely to get cardiovascular problems, degenerative brain disease, and other diseases than those who have positive mindset. On the other hand, expressing or acting upon dark thoughts can damage your relationship with friends, family, or colleague. Communication is one way to communicate, but with the appearance of your somber side, it can lead to misunderstanding and loss of trust because you may talk loudly with moody or anger expression and act aggressively, which may hurt your beloved ones. Based on Hana, a medical doctor, claimed that negative thought will affect all aspects of our lives, including our relationship with others. So, addressing the problems associated with the somber side of your thought and minds requires a combination of steps so that you will not end up being conquered by your own darkness. So let me give you some steps to help you in managing your somber side. 
So the first step is you need to love yourself first before anything. Try accepting all the weakness that you have. Always think it in the positive ways as your weakness can be the reason of your own growth. You also need to practice self-forgiveness by forgiving your mistakes or failures. Don't blame yourself for not doing your best. Instead, change it to a motivation for you to improve yourself further. Second step is try starting your step towards a healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle includes having a balanced diet, doing a physical activity regularly, and have a sufficient sleep. So a balanced diet means your daily food intake is using the guidelines from the food pyramid. But try to eat more vegetables and fruits as you can because it is the best element to improve your overall health. Next, start exercising with the easy techniques like jogging or cycling and try at least exercise three times a week. Lastly, sleep for at least eight hours in a day. Don't force yourself because your body also needs rest. And the third step, aim to improve your external environment. So in this step, it is required for you to practice a wise communication with people. What I mean is when you are moody at that time or felt a lot of hatred and negative thoughts circling inside your mind, it is better for you to avoid communicating with people. Some call this as a silent tre treatment. Okay. Meanwhile, when you are in a better mood and have relief from your negative thought, try performing an open communication with your beloved ones or trusted ones so that you can freely express all the burden going inside you and let it pass away. So with all this step, it can give a lot of benefits. First, when you genuinely love yourself, it will give, it will create a positive mindset within you which able to foster your personal growth this is due to your satisfaction with your overall life even though you go through a difficult situation this will further give you motivation to perform your daily goals and build confidence to start new challenges moreover this will enhance self-esteem in which you feel satisfied about yourself your opinions and abilities based on the article stated that self Love helps us to take care of ourselves, lower stress, and strive for success. Next, with the second step, you can improve your overall well-being, include mental and physical health. A healthy diet and exercise can boost your energy levels, reduce the risk of getting diseases, help improve your mood, and enhance your confidence. By healthy eating habits and exercising, it can give a significant impact on the quality of sleep too. Sufficient sleep also improves your cognitive function and focus. As stated in the article of Times in India, stated that healthy lifestyle not only helps us maintain a healthy weight, but also improve our cardiovascular health, strengthen our muscles, and enhance our mood. Third, it will reduce the risk of unnecessary conflicts and strengthen our relationship with your beloved ones. This is this is due to the avoid technique used when a being in a bad state so that you do not act aggressively that might hurt people. Being honest towards people around you with an open communication, increase the trust and understanding in a relationship. Overall, let's defeat your somber side because without proper control, you might sink into the bad mental and physical health, inhibit your personal growth and destroy your relationship by utilizing these three steps in your daily life, which is love yourself, practice a healthy lifestyle, and perform a wise communication with people. With these powerful techniques, it can affect your internally and externally because it is able to create a positive mindset, improve your overall well-being, and strengthen your relationship with others. Everyone, have, everyone of you has your somber side. Hence, apply these three steps in your daily life as it can be a helpful tool for you to stay on top of a good well-being. So let me end by saying, life is always difficult. There will be times when it's up and down. Same goes with your mood. You can be in a good mood but also can be in bad mood. However, you can't control your life but you can control yourself. So defend your inner self. That's all for me. Thank you.